what's up you guys so like I promised install videos here and there like I like I said I do so this is one of them I'm gonna go ahead and install my uh, my uh, spacers my inch spacers um, the only reason I'm putting those on right now is because the, the wheels are so wide in the front that uh, they're having an issue clearing clearing the coilover so I had to put some like temporary like five mil and a three mil so like eight millimeters without any and I got like a couple turns in there but it's still not safe so I went with the 25s and it actually looks you know it should look pretty good if anything but um but yeah so I'm gonna install that I'm also gonna install, install my uh my headlights now I know I'm going Sylvia front end but my, one of my lights went out so I might you know I bought I bought the uh the blacked out uh, housing so we'll see how that looks Okay, so I got one side down. I didn't get to do it before and after, so I'm gonna do it before and after on this side. Yeah, I know I need to lower it more, but I don't have my spanner keys or my spanner wrenches for this, for my uh, coiler. So yeah, I'll lower it once I get those keys though. All right, so I just wanted to give you a, a, a quick idea of what my wing's gonna look like on. So, right here, I think it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Freaking how wide that is. I don't know. It's definitely different. I like it a lot though. Um, I'm obviously going to mount it. I'm actually, I did some research and I'm going to get some rivet nuts. I'm going to drill into the spoiler, um, which basically puts a, uh, presses in a, a nut for you to be able to, you know, thread a nut into any kind of like fiberglass material or, or sheet metal, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I think it looks good. So first, I'm gonna remove this uh, housing here. Let's do that. Look at this. Scare the crap out of me. I thought I saw some bees. It looks like we have a nest here, you guys. What in the world? So let's try to clean this up here. And there's a spider living inside. There we go. Let's go ahead and remove. So there should be one, two, three, four putting this in place. Alright, so you remove those four bolts, that comes out like that, and this should just be able to slide out. Sweet. So I'll show you the new one and the old one. I'm not going to use this thing though. There's like a little blue light that you can hook up. No, I'm not about that. So let's go ahead and put, so this is the, looks like it already has a bulb in there, which is awesome. So tell the difference yeah so I'm gonna put the actual bulb part in here so that way no water gets inside there plug it in if I can get this to work Okay, 
So that's all installed. Um, headlights and my spacers. Let's see what it looks like. All right guys, so I was able to install, so I was able to install my spacers and my um, headlights because like I said, I am changing out my uh, front end to the Sylvia front end, but I do want to drive it and one of my headlights went out. So I was like, you know, whatever. So I replaced my headlights, looks a lot better. I found a wasp nest. Freaked me out because I thought there was some still in there. But um, uh, again, you guys, I appreciate for watching the video. Uh, I did get my harness bar, so I'll probably put that in, um, get my harness in, um, and my my uh, my wing. My side skirts should be in the mail. I think in the next couple days here. So I have my side skirts, my rear valence, and my wing on. Hopefully in the next couple videos. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one.